So I would like to now introduce the Canadian jury. We have Emily Hunter, Bay Wayman, and Carrie Potts. Please welcome them. Well, it is my great pleasure to be awarding the Mark Haslam Award. This is a very unique special award. It's first given in honor of, of course, Mark Haslam, the founder of Planet in Focus. Uh, it's a unique award because this is given out to a film that features a documentary or drama or experimental film that covers individuals, communities, or struggles that are underrepresented. And also one where the filmmaker himself or herself is part of the story. More importantly, this is also given to a film that ignites positive action in its audience and ignites reflection on the issue itself. This is where action or activism meets filmmaking and bridging those two realms. So I'd like to award, drum roll please, <laughs> to Rainforest, The Limit of Splendor by Richard Wilkes. <laughs> Can I invite the director down please? Yeah, thank you. Uh, the fellow who's in the photograph there, he's to be thanked a lot, and uh, the rest of the people that climbed with me. Uh, we spent about three years figuring out how to climb up in those trees, um, and it all sparked from a uh, protest that is a, it's a national treasure. It's a place called Cathedral Grove. It's on Vancouver Island. And um, it's a very small group of trees that millions of people come and appreciate every year. And the government wanted to put a parking lot in the middle of it and cut out a whole bunch of trees and put in a big road and the whole bit. And we said no. And we said no for a long time. And then we climbed up in the trees and said no again. And then we said no for two more years. And then they finally said, oh, okay, well, I guess we better not do that then. <laughs> but in that process, I learned how to climb trees. <laughs> and I thought, well, I better share that with people and take pictures of these things uh, way up here. And, uh, and I met some incredible people along the way. Um, Quatsi Stala, who is uh, Chief Adam Dick, became my spiritual guide and continues to be my spiritual guide. And he uh, is teaching us about a place that we need to respect and honor. And it's a, it's a rainforest on the west coast of British Columbia. And we need it not to be destroyed. I came here, luckily this, uh, this festival also gave me the opportunity to pitch a film called Coastal Tar Sands which is about the effects that uh, oil from Enbridge, from the pipeline they're building from northern Alberta, the tar sands, to Kitimat, which is on the coast of British Columbia, and their intention of taking that to China through our coast, through a dangerous, horrible, uh, a place that two to three, four boats a year sink in that area. And it's crazy to think that we can have 500 super tankers going through that every year. So we're going to say no, and I encourage you to do the same. Thank you very much. And for the best uh, short film of the festival, we decided on a, uh, a really nice film about some, uh, made by some young filmmakers and their incredible journey by kayak down the BC coast to bring attention to the impact of the proposed Northern Gateway Pipeline which sounds sort of similar to what the last fellow was wanting to make a longer film about. So there's room for both, I think. It's uh, the Pipelines, uh, Pipe Dreams project by Pharaoh de Roche and Ryan Van de Castien. And I don't believe no. they're here. But, uh, but we congratulate them anyway for a lovely film. So I have the uh, honor of presenting the award for Best Canadian Feature, and I have to say that this was an extremely difficult category. Um, we uh, definitely were not, we had a lot of long discussions over, uh, over dinner about this, um, but uh, we did uh, decide to give an honorable mention. We probably could have given three, <laughs> uh, 
But um, the honorable mention, which I'll mention first, and if the filmmakers are here, please come up, um, goes to a really beautiful film that leads us through tunnels to forgotten undercurrents that lie below our cities and opens our eyes to the transformative power of bringing these back to the surface. So the film is Lost Rivers, directed by Caroline Bakla and produced by Katerina Suku. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, um, it was a great honor for us to be here at the festival and a great honor to be among all these films because they're all so meaningful. Um, and I think even a bit more so than uh, another kind of film festival. So on behalf of Carolyn and, and myself and everyone who participated in our film, thank you very much. So now for the winner of the Best Canadian Feature Award. This goes to a really profound film uh, that we could all agree on as jurors um, that brings its viewers to the front lines of protests and asks us to consider that acts against oppression are truly acts of love. The winner is Occupy Love, directed by Velcro Ripper and produced by Velcro Ripper, Nova Ami, and Ian McKenzie. Please come up. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, it's so, uh, such an honor to receive this award. We literally finished the film about two weeks ago, so it's just fresh out, and uh, having this recognition really means a lot, uh, a lot to us. Nova Ami, producer, is in the audience, and Betsy Carson, the executive producer, if you can both stand up, are, are here and part of the amazing team that made this film possible. <laughs> Along with 900 community crowdfunders, which is also an amazing thing. This was a, a crowdfunded film, and it's about, and that's a really important way the film was made, and it's also a reflection of the, the new movements that are emerging, which are about shared power, and together we can change the world. So thank you all so much. jury. They, I think they made incredible decisions. I mean, all the films were amazing, but I just want to thank them for their work. They saw many, many films, so thank them. <laughs> many amazing films.